I am Anil Kumar and we are discussing logarithmic functions. Now as usual, we will kind of exploit the power rule this time, twist it a bit, try to confuse you a bit rather, let me say that, that's what we normally do, and then ask you a question. Given f of x equals to log x squared and g of x equals to 2 times log of x, you know the power rule, right? So if you apply power rule to log of x squared, you get log of x squared is equals to 2 times log x. Is that statement true or false? Right? So you know from power rule it is true. Okay. So let me give you a first answer that this statement is true. Okay, no confusion up to this point. Now comes my question. Okay. Now this question I have uh, Whenever I work with students, I find this extremely difficult to digest. And let me know what are your views about it. Now the question is, explain the similarities and differences between the above functions. Above functions mean, here we are talking about log of x square and 2 times log of x. So, so now my question is, are they exactly same functions? Are they different functions? Like how are they really related? So so that is my question is, right? So I'm not debating whether this is true or false. I'm saying it is true. And now my question is, explain the similarities and differences between these two functions where f of x is equals to log x squared and g of x equals to 2 times log x. So you can pause the video, think about it, and let me also think how to answer such a question. Okay, what do you say? Let's look into these functions in further details. So best way to look into these functions is that we should graph them, right? So we should graph them. Okay, and then we'll talk about them, and then we'll get back to the power rule. Fine. So, log of x square, what is that? Log of x square here, the base is 10, you know. And if I have to just sketch log x, my function is going to be kind of like this, right? So, like, like this, where this point will be 0 at, at x equals to 1, and it is not really to the scale. Think this is 10 for us, okay? So, so let us see there is a break. And at that point, okay, let me just use another ink. We have this as 1. So that is my function, which I am saying is log x. Okay, now this is log x. If I have to do log of x square, then what happens? Now, if you know, uh, the domain of log x is as shown, x is greater than 0. But if I have log x square, then in that case my x value could be here in this case the only restriction is that x is not equal to 0. I could have x as negative values, right? So if I write down a negative value, I can actually sketch it. So I'll have a graph on this side also. So when we are talking about log of x square, then we are talking about a graph which will be kind of like this and also kind of like that. Do you see that part? So that is how my graph is going to be. Okay. Now as far as the, let me, okay, let's get back to this graph. Now here again, let me sketch log of x first. Okay. So, so this time, uh, let me be a bit more realistic. So let's say this is my graph log of x. Okay. If I have to sketch log of 2x, and let me write down these points, this is at 1, and let us assume this is 10. So if this is 10, we are looking for this point as 1. So if I have to sketch g of x, which is 2 times log x, uh, that is kind of simpler, right? We have to just multiply each value by 2 and get the result. So major value is this. So we'll say, well, now my graph is kind of but it has 0 times 2 is 2, right? 0, right? So this has to go like this. So here it will, of course, be crossing at the same point. 
but negative values are more negative so it will be kind of like this right so but it is going to approach to uh, minus infinity perfect so that becomes the graph of g of x which in this case is equals to 2 times log x do you see that now here we still see that the domain is x is greater than 0 perfect and range is all real numbers and that's the graph but in this particular case as you now know if I substitute different values I will get what I'll get two graphs like this with mirror image correct so so if I substitute one of course I get zero but if I substitute 10 I get two so here my graph in this particular case will be one similar to that kind of let me just draw a sketch rough one here and the other one should be facing this side you see that so so log of 2x will now be graph like this perfect so they are indeed very very different functions when I give them separately like this you get an idea so now from the given situation you can write lot of similarities and lot of differences similarities are when we are considering the domain x greater than 0 but if otherwise this function has only one restriction that is x is not equal to 0 this one is an even function so so we have lot of properties here log of x square it is even right this one is not even and here the domain is just x belongs to real numbers and x not equal to 0 right and this function is neither you can see and the domain in this case is uh, x greater than 0 right so there is a lot of difference between these two functions right strictly speaking I could say this function as equal to 2 times log of absolute x do you see that so so if I am talking about the f of x as log x square then strictly speaking this is 2 times log of absolute x that is the critical thing which I think my grade 12 students should understand and appreciate I hope all of you agree with me you can write down your comments and uh, share with your friends thank you and all the best.